Hold on, maybe you get a better shot of it. Ha <laughs> ha Yeah, motherfuckers! Alright. So let's get down to business, shall we? Number one, I'm the real fucking deal. Number two, I'm the real fucking deal. Number three, you guessed it, I'm the real fucking deal. I don't come out here to play games. I don't come out here to mess around. I am expecting a loyal fan base that is going to support me and my show. And it's going to do the right thing. Okay? So what is the right thing, you ask? Well, first of all, before I go into my little program that I want to do to ensure that people are going to listen to my show... And speaking of which, my show, it's on 24 hours a day. It's really, uh, we just got some high quality 320 kilobyte uh, songs in uh, MP3 format. And uh, they're, uh, they're Metallica, they're Guns N' Roses. We're going to add some more high quality songs um, as the days go by or the weeks go by. And, uh, you know, it's all a process. It takes, it takes time. You don't see, if I knew how to do this, I'd be doing it myself. I don't know how to fucking do anything except get on the fucking camera here and talk to you people out there about, I have been very, 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 very disappointed in a lot of yous out there. Now, I know we have communications out there through your pages. We talk. Okay. I'm still very upset about, I'm not going to mention names, um, but I'm still kind of upset about somebody listening to my show for about 30 minutes and then deciding to mow the lawn. I can't have that type of disrespect because that person knows about that type of situation. They do. And I don't mean to hop it up. I don't mean to bring it up. But, you know, I had a very bad week. I had some fucking uh, uh, ass... Well, I can't... I like to say the C word. But I think I'm treading on thin ice here with social media. So, I'm just going to call the woman an asshole. And she was from uh, Canada. And she tried to fuck me over. And uh, she lied and she double fucking lied. See, you people don't understand what I fucking go through to try to get a fucking fan base here. Because even though I don't believe in the, in the thing one size fits all, okay, everyone is different. Everyone is a different individual. If you don't like my fucking show, then get the fuck out of here. Leave my fucking page. I got the fucking balls to say that. I'm not fucking afraid to tell people to leave. And I could be some of my best fucking friends out here. Because I want things the way I want them, okay? I put a lot. Well, first let me go back to the from the from the ass wipe from Canada. She double talked. She said that she went to bed early. Now I had a conversation with this with this bitch, and she goes to me, "Oh, I went to bed." Ugh. Okay, you went to fucking bed. Well, then you bullshit me, and then you fucking say that. What do you say? Oh, that you heard the show, and you were offended. You were offended. Let me tell you something, okay? Every time I post up on my fucking page to promote the fucking sh the show of shows, I fucking put it right fucking there, R-rated. Now, if you can't fucking read that, or you're an ignorant motherfucker... Then don't come fucking blaming me and don't come fucking to me saying, Oh, Joe. Now, I haven't had that happen. I think all of you have been, you know, I've been here for a while. And some of these people here have been a while, like, uh, you know, like different people. And uh, you guys know me. You fucking know me. So you know my show. My show is not for the faint of heart. It's not for the weak. It's R-fucking-rated. 
but that was her. I'm talking about her. I'm not talking about my friends here that I have a problem with them or they have a problem with me with my show. The problem I'm having is that people are really, really showing me that they're not paying attention to me. When you hear my show for 30 minutes and you decide to do something else, that's not paying attention to my show. That's not giving me the benefit of the doubt. And I'm sick and tired of fucking begging people and asking people as nice as I can be. But there's a time not to be fucking nice, like now. I'm not fucking nice right now. I'm pissed because of that fucking asshole in Canada and some of her friends that came down here to try to fuck with me, but I fucking blocked them. And then I had another band that remembered me from years ago, and they suck. They're a tribute band. And they're trying to make themselves like they really matter in the music scene. Whether you're a copy band or you like to sugarcoat it by saying yourself that you're a tribute band, you suck. Because if you can't write a fucking song, you fucking suck. Now, it's not like me who has Mailbox Dog. And let me tell you something. I could go and, 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 and get off the air here and just do a show, you know, once a week. And I probably have enough time because I am pursuing a fucking band. I got great fucking music. So what the fuck not? And another thing, I noticed that when I come on video, uh, maybe a few people come here. And I know I only got about seven friends. I got rid of about four or five people that deserved it. They put their fucking foot in their mouths. They treated me with disrespect. If you're going to treat me with disrespect, you're going to find your ass tossed out of here. That's as simple as that. There's plenty of fucking fish out there in the pond. You know what I mean? There's plenty of people that want to be a part of the crazy fucking Joe show. I am the most motherfucking talented guy. There's no other show that's like mine. Go over there. Look it up on face crap with these groups. Internet radio. Internet promotion. Just do a search. Listen to these motherfuckers. They will put you the fucking sleep, including the Matt Connington's of the world. That fucking asshole from fucking WMNH in New Hampshire who I had a fucking problem with the last fucking year, over a year. And they called my show the other day because you know what? They're hypocrites. If you don't like me, bite me. And why the fuck are you calling me if you don't fucking like me? Because they're a bunch of fucking liberal, leftist, communist bastards. Nobody's going to tell Crazy Joe how to run his show. Nobody's going to tell me what to do. Nobody's going to tell me nothing. I'm the fucking boss. This is my house. And when you come to my house, you come with respect or not at all. I'll tell you the commitment I have. I just... Thank you, Amy. I just went in the fucking shower. And, and, and I, I, I didn't need to shower. But I wanted to shower. Because I'm making a video. That's the fucking commitment that I make to you fucking people. Okay? I don't mean to say fucking like it insults you. It's just I'm, I'm agitated. You see in the background there? There's thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars in equipment. And to my right... I've already made videos where I've shown you fucking people, again, not to be insulted, it's just the way New Yorkers talk. You know I'm the fucking real deal, so start treating me like the real deal. Because I feel that you people are not really treating me like the real deal. I make a commitment to you, you make a commitment to me. That's how the game works. And it's not a game, believe me. This is life. The Crazy Joe Show is life. The way I deal with people and the way people deal with me. We have to have an understanding or no understanding at all. You hear me? Right on? Fucking hungry. I got to go to supermarket. But of course I can't wear this shirt in public because it's got the Confederate flag on it. But I can wear it here. You know? Yeah, right on. Right on. You know, Amy, God bless her soul, 
You people should be a lot more like Amy. Because sh Amy shows me a lot of respect, a lot of courtesy, and it's, and it's a person who actually, on you know, when she's got a chance part-time, because I'm not asking her to do anything out of the way, is, is promoting me. Now, that's what I need. You know, people to uh, promote me. If they want to. I promote myself, believe me. I don't, I, you know, I just... Let's have an understanding here. Either you like me or you don't fucking like me. That's all I'm saying. I don't want phonies on this channel. I don't want phonies on my page. Either either give it up that you're loyal to me and I'll be loyal to you. Or you know where the door is. Is, is, that, is that too much to ask for fucking loyalty? Because I'll tell you why. And I'm not being an asshole. I'll tell you why I say that. We have people today that have a short attention span. We got people that are selfish, self-absorbed, and self-centered. We have people that don't give a flying fuck. And I understand why. And I'll name some of the reasons. Number one, my show ain't for everyone. I understand that. Like the, 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 the bitch in Canada. You know? She found my show very offending. I can understand that. Okay? Second of all... I'm sorry, I got a brain fart. Like I said, I know my show is not for everybody. It is filthy, it is R-rated. Sometimes it can even be on the line of X-rated. Uh, I am not going to pull back for these leftist liberal douchebags anything I need to say, whether it's racial whether it's fucking whatever. I don't talk about politics. I represent the average person. The middle the, 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 the middle class who's being fucked over right now. And there's so much shit in the world. But I, I'm not a hero. I'm just a person from New York City who believes in what my fucking show stands for. And I need people to believe in that. And, and, and like I said before, a lot of people are selfish, self-absorbed, and self centered that they just don't care. Oh, because there's an abundance, did I say that right? An abundance of other shows, there's an oversaturation of other shows. And that's making me look fucking bad because now everybody's treating me like everybody else. No, you're not going to treat me like everybody else. I'm fucking a gem. I'm a star and I'm fucking special. And it has nothing to do with me being, thinking I'm better than you. Thinking that I, my shit don't stink. Speaking of which, I got a fart. Mmm, fresh roasted peanuts. I'm a lovable, funny guy. But if you guys are going to fucking ignore me, if you're not going to fucking stick with the program, don't fucking listen to me, and, and, and I, I apologize to the person who's going to watch this video. She's going to think I'm, I'm, I'm on a case. No, I, I, I have respect for her. I know what she does for you know living. I have nothing but the respect, but she should know better. And anybody else here, do not listen to my show for 30 minutes and then do something else. Or don't come on my show at all. Don't come. Another thing that's rude, I'm, I'm not making a big deal about it, but... I think it was last year, I had about uh, over a hundred friends and people would come here and they would see my video like now, and whoever's the second person, I don't know who you are, you're not identifying yourself, but, the, but, but people would come here and then they just leave. That's very disrespectful, okay? Very rude. If you come here, stay here. If you gotta leave for anything, tell me you gotta go. You see, I believe in fucking respect and manners. I know you people from out of state and you're going to say, Oh, what's he talking about? Respect and manners. He's cursing every five seconds. Yeah, I am. Because I'm for fucking real. And I'm from New York fucking city. And I'm as real as a heart attack. And I'm just not going to put up with the bullshit. I want more loyalty. So, let's get to the point of why I made this video. After yelling at you guys. No, I, I actually want to come here, do a video, 
show you my fucking cool shirt. I am Mr. Fucking Cool. You know, I'm hesitating to cut my fucking hair because I still want to get into a band. See how long it is? I know you can't see it with the black shirt. I'm long. Let me take a quick break here. I don't want to get a heart attack. Because I'm a very straight up, truthful, honest, emotional guy. I'm not going to bullshit you, but please, I beg of you, don't bullshit me. Don't be lame with me. Be real with me. I need you, you need me too. It's a two-way fucking street. Anyway, this is the reason why... <laughs> oh, I'm so dramatic. Uh, I should be a fucking actor. I've been told to be a stand-up comedian, but I got no material. I do it on a Crazy Joe show, I guess, right? The reason I did this video tonight, besides all my complaining and bitching and moaning and everything like that, even though I don't think I am, but I know you think I am, but you're wrong. Because if you had a fucking show, would you want to be disrespected? Would you want to be ignored? Would you want to have people that have a short attention span and don't care about you after you work so fucking hard? It takes me days to put a show together. Not hours. Days. Anyway, the reason why I'm making this video because I'm going to have a new system. Because I thought about this very carefully. And I'm going to uh, assure myself that people are going to listen to my show. By the way, I want to wave my hand to uh, a good friend out there. He's out there. Uh, Taco Taco. Guy that I know for 35 years. I knew his family. I, was, I considered myself a friend of the family. Besides being a friend of this person. And his, uh, his beautiful father. Who passed on some years back. His, uh, his uh, lovely mother. His uh, sister, his brother, and uh, and uh, and this is the problem that you know depresses me, that a lot of my good friends have left to go out of state, and uh, I miss them terribly, and uh, but that's the way it is. People got to live their lives. Can you can you guys just hold on one second? I gotta get something to drink. I, I, I'm gonna. Uh, I don't want to get dehydrated. Just please. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take the whole thing with me. It's only gonna be 15 seconds. Okay. I can't pause this. Please. By the way, I'm back. And I just want to say to my good friend out there, and thank you, Amy. I, I appreciate it. Don't, we don't even worry about you. Because all the yelling and screaming that I do is with these people who are not giving me the proper attention. So I don't even worry about you. As a matter of fact, I'm going to tell... Should I... Um, this has been a very long video. You think I should restart the video again? Because this program is going to take a few minutes to explain. And I think, I got a feeling that a lot of people are going to stop the video. And they're not going to listen to me. They're going to ignore me because I was yelling and, and carrying on. And, and that's the feeling I got. So um, I, I'm thinking about, I'm thinking, well, we got three people out here. I don't know what to do. Should uh, Can I get an opinion? I mean, it, it, it's been a long video. I mean, how long have I been out here? 15 minutes? And people just... They don't want to listen, man. That's what fucking pisses me off. All right. Hold on a second. All right, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to explain the program. And then I'm going to redo a video 
later on tonight after I come from the supermarket. Because this is the program. So I'm going to explain the program. What you got to do... Oh, there's that fucking faggot dick out there who I fucked his mother. Little scumbag weasel fuck. Hey, asshole. You're a fucking dick and a loser. Why don't you come to New York and see me sometime so I can slap the shit out of you? Don't hide behind the fucking uh, internet. Don't hide behind the thing. When I find out who you are, you're mine. I've already fucking deleted and blocked your fucking boyfriends out there. You're fucking next. I know you'll make a mistake, and then I'm going to fuck you up the ass. So here's the program. We're going to have a program where... We're going to give a code, and the code could be anything. It could be a, 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 name of, a name of a state, it could be a name of a town, it could be a color, it could be a number, whatever. And um, what we're going to do is, let's say we have, I'll give you a quick example. I thought this true, along with my other good friend out there I was talking to, a very intelligent man. Let's say I got a hundred friends. Out of the hundred friends, I'm going to demand at least 50%, 50 percent, fifty of those hundred people are going to listen to me. So, if a hundred people, that's not going to happen. But if a hundred people were on my page listening to the show of shows. And maybe 50 of them left for whatever personal reasons. Maybe they gotta don't go take a shit or a diarrhea or go jerk off in a corner. I got to have at least 50 people that, ha that have to listen to my show. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have these people message me on Messenger and tell me what the code of the day was. So, for instance, I'll give you an example. The code of the day while I'm doing the show the code of the day is endless summer. So, um, you know, this assures that people are actually listening to my show and are going to give me the fucking proper respect that I deserve because I work hard for you. At least you could do is pay attention to me. And something else I ask, I don't, I don't think I can do anything about it, but I ask that you... Put at least an hour into listening to the show. Okay? We have a great show right now where we do two hours of comedy, great rock and roll music. And then after that, we open up the studio line to take your request. And then after that, we come here and do a live video. So I'm giving you people a lot of fucking good shit here. Okay? I'm not just fucking doing a, 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 a half-hour show podcast and not engaging with my audience. I'm engaging with you fucking people. I'm sorry. I don't mean to. When I say fucking, it's because of my New York way of talking. I'm engaging with you. I got to. It's a bad habit. I got to engage. I'm engaging with you people. Okay. I'm giving you a piece of my heart. I'm giving you something so you could tell your friends. Oh, Crazy Joe Show, he gets his audience involved. But you have to give me something back. So that's why I came up with this system. It's called the code system or the honor system. It, it, what it means is that I'm going to know that you guys have listened. Because after the show or whatever it is, you're going to message me. And you're going to tell me what the code was. In the two hour show. I could say the code in the beginning. I could say toward the middle of the show. I could say toward the second hour. But I'm going to say the code. And I'm going to say something like endless summer. You message me. And tell me what the code was. And then I know that you were listening. Now I know that I have a loyal audience. Okay. Because if you don't do that. You have to leave here. I'll give you one chance, and one chance only, 
And if you don't deliver on this on that second on that first chance, I may have to ask you to leave. I don't want to do it. I don't want to kick people out. But you know something? I have to show pride and loyalty and respect to my show. Because I can't trust people by asking you people, oh, can you please listen to my show? You know you're not gonna do, you know you're not gonna listen to it. You know you're gonna be like that other person that put thirty minutes into it and then had to mow their lawn. You know I'm not gonna accept that. And I'm not trying to down that person. I'm making that person an example of what I want. I want full fucking loyalty. You want me to give you a good fucking show? Then you fucking show me some loyalty. You show me some respect. You show me some dignity. You show me some honor. Because like I said, right there, there's thousands of dollars in equipment. I've made two videos where I did a complete tour of my studio. I'm nobody to play with. I'm a serious guy. And I just want the same respect and courtesy from you people. Now, if that's too much to ask, what can I tell you? Then maybe the Crazy Joe show is not for you. And I know there's other people out there that would welcome me, welcome me into their arms, that would love me, that know I'm the real deal. What is there not to like about the Crazy Joe show? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a fucking star. And if you people want to help me get there, I do need your help. But please act real with me. Don't be a fake, phony, two-face, four-face, six-face, eight-face. I hate that. I don't like people who are not real. I will lose my temper and I will just start fucking deleting. Because I don't want people to be a phony with me. You must be real with me. I'm real with you, be real with me. That's it. If that's too hard to ask, I don't know what to tell you. I thought about going back to rock and roll, but you know, I can't find a guitar player that plays like Jimmy Page or Eric Clapton, so, you know. Our society is fucked up today. Rock and roll is dead. People are dead. People suck, like this little faggot over here. And, uh, but you know what? I will defeat people like that. Because I like it. I like it. I enjoy it. Because they're jealous. Like this little prick over here, he's jealous. Because I'm better than him. And he knows it. And so does Matt Connington, and so does all those fucking assholes from New Hampshire and Iowa and Twin City Falls, Idaho. Because if you look at Twin City Falls, Idaho and Iowa, what the fuck is there to do there but to have sex with farm animals and fuck the goats and fuck the sheep and fuck the pigs? We're here in good old New York or New Jersey. Old George William Painter says I live in New Jersey. Whatever, I don't care. New York is a big fucking state. But wherever I live, I'm better than anybody in Idaho and in fucking Iowa. And these people that keep pursuing me, that called into my show the other night, hmm, they were jealous of me. Because if they really didn't like me, if they really found me so terrible, if they found me to be the racist guy that I am, because in New York, everybody's a fucking racist. But you guys wouldn't know that, would you? Except my friend out there... Taco Taco. He lived in New York his whole life. He knows what I'm saying. Everyone in New York is a fucking racist. They're your... That kind of racism, and then there's your hardcore yeehaw, Southern Hillbilly Ku Klux Klan motherfuckers. I'm not that. Because I like everybody, as long as you treat me right. But uh, today's world, I can't say. Here. Because I could be deleted. You know, I mean, I could be sent to face crab jail. I served 220 days in face crab jail because I fought Matt Connington, his girlfriend Jenny. I fought all these assholes. I blocked, like, fucking so many of them. They came to my page. 
And we were supposed to work together and be friends and everything. And it turned out that I started being on my page, talking about the world today, whatever I was saying. It offended them. The little, the little bitch out there went to her boyfriend and said, Oh, Joe's saying a lot of bad things out there about about black people and blah, 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 blah. And, um, and, uh, which really wasn't racist at all. It was just, I was just talking about the world and Donald Trump and all that shit. And, uh, and I got into a fight with them and they started like threatening me and giving me some bullshit. So, you know, I came back to them hardcore and Facecraft decided to suspend me for, you know, 30 days at a clip. Now they're not doing that because I don't need to, you know. I mean, I'm on YouTube. And, uh, hey, asshole, the one that keeps setting those fucking things. Why don't you come to my YouTube channel so I can fucking block and delete you? Yeah. Yeah. I have a YouTube channel. I'm not really interested. I might do a YouTube channel tonight because I know my enemies in New Hampshire. You know what they do in New Hampshire? Uh, New Hampshire, Vermont are part of the maple syrup state. You know what they do there? They take one of those corks and they, they insert it in one of those trees with the maple coming out of it. And then they put it like all over their hand. And then they turn, you know, they pull down their underwear and then they wipe their ass with it and, it, and they lick it like that. Did you know that? Okay, people, it's been uh, 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 great to do this video. I'm glad somebody's out there paying attention to me. Um, I'm, I'm going to do some groceries now because uh, I drink plenty of iced tea, my favorite. And uh, I'm going to cook some nice uh, angel hair spaghetti with mm, delicious sweet sausage and some that, that, that cheese. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm, mm, mm. So, and I know the other scumbag here is jealous because I guess nobody, he can't cook for himself and he lives in his mother's uh, basement and he's got to say to his, Mommy, Mommy, make me some dinner. Mommy, 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 please. The little faggot out there with the uh, emos out there. He's a faggot. He's a punk. He's a bitch. And he's my puppet too because you know what they call me? They call me Worldwide Puppet Master. That's right. I'm always pulling the strings of the douchebags. So I will be back later, and I will talk about just the program. And I'm going to stick with just the program. Because I'm sure people are not going to listen to this, uh, I mean, you know, hear this video. It's about 20 minutes running now. And people have no brain power. They have no attention span. They're, it's like... I'm not talking about my friends. I'm talking about here on the social media page, the Crazy Joe Show. I'm talking about on social media, these people borderline fucking retards. They really are. Okay? And a lot of rude people here that stay here and then they leave. I ain't going to deal with that shit. Uh, I'll be back later. Yeah. Th oh, oh, Amy, really? It's been that long? 33 fucking minutes? All right. All right, let's uh let's come back later.